Hey everyone, it's Mike. It's been quite a while. It's been, I think, four months. Um, let's see what's happened. Um, have a new kid on the way. Hopefully she will be here in August, so that is good. Um, as you can kind of see, here still again is my death pile. Um, trying to really work through it, and I've got through a lot of it. Um, here are just some things that I've been trying to figure out. My buddy, he's a G.I. Joe um, fan, so I was asking him about these. I think I showed these in a video before. A lot of, uh, those are nothing, but, uh, you know, little people, fellows here, and things like that. That was what? It was, uh, no, that was those. These were three ninety nine. so I'll try and figure out what these are. Um, things are going really well. Picked these up, uh, from Costco. Of course, a lot of people, I think, in the uh, reseller community that have memberships or those nearby know about these. Um, I'm not sure if they're still on sale. If they are, I do need to pick those up. Those are, uh, I need, do need to get more. I've got, um, two more over there. Um, but I like them so much better than these other ones. So I might have to do that. Um, just a couple of the good things that I've picked up recently. This is, uh, um, Saban's Power Rangers. Um, this is by Rainbow Creations. It was made in the good old USA. Of course, it's for a, a child. Um, but I uh, spent, I think it was five ninety nine for that. Um, I think that will sell really well. Um, things have been going good. I'm going to, um, sorry, I'm going to try and really um, keep these up and going again. Um, just... Life got in the way, um, some personal things, nothing major, nothing, no problems or anything like that, but uh, things are going really well. I had an awesome Q4, can't complain at all. Uh, like for most people, um, January's been a little slow for me, but uh, the weekend I did have 10 uh, sales, so I was very happy about that, especially for a weekend. Um, but uh, I'm, uh, eh, what the hell, I'll share a little personal. Um, I'm taking a, a new uh, medication, and unfortunately one of the side effects is kind of like a loss of motivation um but luckily i've got the the mindset that i know that i need to do this stuff and um this the, the ebay thing has definitely suffered uh, when the wife and kids go to bed at night i decide you know you know i'd rather watch some tv instead of go downstairs um but i've been fighting that and i have been listing things um just having to push through it and you know we all know that eBay um, rewards activity, so the more you list, um, the better chance you have of getting sales, and that's pretty much what uh, I, I, I've, I've been doing and I plan on doing, so um, let's see here. Now these are a bunch of things that I've gotten all over, um, you know, just buying stuff. I uh, know that's not one of them. Where is it? Here, let me show you folks. So, no, yeah, that's one, okay. So this is, I don't know if you guys know, um, these are part of the Blaze and Monster Machines. I think they're on Nickelodeon. Uh, my boys used to watch them. Um, and these are all die casts. And a guy I got on Facebook Marketplace a while back um, had 60 or 50 of these. I can't remember for like 40 bucks. And I was like, sure. And I've already sold a ton of them. Um, and I've made my money back quite a bit and stuff like that. So... But uh, kind of, you know, when Raken Profits had his uh, video about toys and stuff with that guy, that, that series, um, you know, I really started to look into toys. And I've had some really good success with them. Um, I had a Power Rangers thing that I found that I spent like a dollar for. And uh, it ended up selling for, um, I had it up for like, I don't know, 70 or 80 or something like that. And the guy offered me 40 and I was like, well, yeah, because, you know, it's the first offer I'd had, and I didn't really know much about it, so, but, um, that's really it for now, so I'll talk to you folks later. Hey, everyone, what's up? It's Mike, Ohio Thrift and Flip here. Forgive the, the mess, I have been working at my regular job, I work from home, and I have not showered yet. So I thought I would, uh, on my break, take a quick moment. Come down here to the basement and uh, show you folks, folks, some of the things I've recently bought. So, uh, one of them here is 
Now, I would have kept this if it was my size because this is just amazing. It's my Buckeyes. Um, as you can see, starter. I don't believe, no, I, I'm pretty sure it's not vintage. It's uh, made in Indonesia. I think all the vintage ones were Korea. Um, but, I mean, it definitely looks nice and uh, should sell for some good money. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember this. This is uh, an Ace Sportswear. Let me get that to focus here. Oh, come on, focus, you dumb thing. I'm sorry. Well, it says Ace Sportswear, um, made in the U.S. Apparently, this is a vintage, um, uh, you know, like hunting jacket, hoodie, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it looks like um, this particular one I saw, um, I believe I saw two that went for 39 So for that price, I thought that was a, a good deal. I think... Here, let's see here. What I pay for that? Uh, Seven ninety-nine. Next thing here is your definite, definite, definite '90s, if not '80s, um, Columbia sportswear. This is a radial sleeve, made in the USA. So it's definitely nice. Um, has a little bit of a I'm not sure what that is, but that should be able to come off. That doesn't look like that would be a problem. Um, but I thought definitely that would be good. And what size is it again? Oh, yeah, medium. So I can't wear that, but uh, maybe someone I know can if it... Okay, what do we got here? All right. We have a G.I. Joe mech with all of its... No, nope, okay, one missing bullet. No big deal. And it's... Uh, how you get this open here? Uh, there you go. The cockpit with the figure and everything. My buddy, who's a big G.I. Joe collector, wanted me to um, give it to him. And I was like, ah, you can buy it for this. And he didn't want it. So I was like, all right, I'll go ahead and sell it. Looks, um, From what I've seen, it looks like these go for uh, 25 to 30 plus shipped. So oh, that's cool. Uh, for 250 and having everything, you know, pretty much everything, I thought, why not? Uh, okay, and just, um, this was what, two, two bucks, so I figured I would grab these, um, you know, you got tur two turtles, a transform, or one turtle transformer, Captain America, and Superman there, um, look them up, see if they're worth anything, if not, uh, my buddy, the one that's a G.I. Joe collector, he's a, a, uh, oh, what do you call it, um, he takes action figures and he, breaks them apart and then he makes his own ones that he wants and stuff so maybe i'll just give those to him no big deal oops there they are it's two bucks so i can't really complain you know i'm taking more chances with the toys and stuff um i really should burn this for being in my house but i'm a browns fan so but you know it's chalk line um, chalk line is a vintage item um, I've had several chalk lines that are good, and it's a nice size. It's a 2XL, made in Korea. So, you know, windbreaker, insulated, I guess you would call it. So that's definitely a good thing here. And this, pretty much every time I see REI, I buy it. This is um, kind of like a fleece, you know, jacket or whatever you want to call it. Um... So definitely a good pickup. All the REI stuff that I find does do really, really well. Especially the stuff that's made in the U.S. I can't remember. Uh, is this one? No, this one's made in Cambodia, it looks like. So the older stuff I know is uh, made in the U.S. And I've had a number of things there that I do. And then this is one I bought for me. Uh, just Nike Dry Fit Golf. It's a large. So, you know, brand new with tags, so, you know, they don't really have, you know, my Goodwill upcharge is $5.99 for Nike, Under Armour, um, trying to think anything else, 
there's one more, but like, uh, you know, they'll, they'll leave other, other things not marked up, so I'm like, all right, whatever. Um, let's see here. Got, they had three of these there, but one of them had some marks that I didn't notice until I got to check out, so I left it there. But these are some, you know, let me move this light over here so you guys can see a little better. Hopefully it'll wash it out. But these are some beautiful um, golf pants. You love that beautiful little uh, FJ there. We got some Foot Joy. And these were uh, $3.99. So, and these are uh, 34.32s. So, too skinny for me and too long for me. But uh, I don't need to attract anything else to my golf game. It's bad enough. I don't need to go out there and drag more attention than I need. But, uh, you know, some of these have a, little, a few spots, but I figure I can get those out no problem. And I figure even with it being foot joy, someone's going to want them. So, all right. Okay, what we got here? Um, kind of went out on a limb with these, just trying. These are the Wiggles Fun Activity Set. You can see the, uh, you know, coloring books, blah, blah, blah. Two fifty. I paid two fifty. Um, they are from 2003. That's kind of why I got them. They're brand new. Um, at the very least, one of them I can give to my one son for his birthday coming up next month. Um, he's a, a Wiggles fan, so uh, he's he'll be four. So definitely something that he could do. Um, but I thought, well, heck, you know, for 250, I'll I'll give it a shot. I had um, a while back. I had um, I can't think of the name of the company, but I had a Bugs Life. Um, sticker set and it came in a hard case and everything it was brand new sealed actually it was from marshall's as well but i got it at goodwill um and i was like heck you know i'd had it forever i'm like eh i picked it again up off a whim i'm like this thing's not gonna sell but uh i go ahead and list it and within the day someone paid full asking price if i think it was like 20 some dollars plus shipping so i was like okay that sounds good so you know never be afraid to try something even if you don't see anything i mean if you see something that's you know, new and you know, I mean, Wiggles. You know, this is this is nostalgia for the the younger people. You know, the people that um, would have been around. You know, kids in 2003. They're older now. They might want to grab some of that nostalgia from when they were a kid and stuff. So, um, you know, never pass on something even if you don't see it. You know, if it's within reasonable price. Um, I picked up this Lux Pro. Um, programmable thermostat here um it was a uh, five dollars and i looked online and it looks like they were going for about 25 plus shipping so um, i thought that was a reasonable uh risk to take there let's see what else we got here uh, sorry guys all right oh yeah okay i remember these these are some older but not too too bad i've got stuff i can kind of touch up the, the the paint here and stuff like that so i don't know maybe i should have left them but these are doc martin made in england um size nine and so i thought well you know and they were only like 3.99 i thought well heck for the price i'll go ahead and give them a shot i mean i do pretty good with doc martins for some reason the ones made in the UK tend to, to stay a little longer for me, and I, I would think that people would want them, but, you know, it is is what it is, so I'll get those listed and done. Okay. Now here's, I've sold this brand before. This is, I can't remember the brand, I think it's like 3 Kiwi or something, I mean, as you can see, you know, um, made in South Africa. Now this is a rugby shirt. And I've sold um, items before of this, and they do really well. But this is uh, an Ohio State rugby um, shirt, and uh, pretty unique, I, I must say. So I would think, you know, someone, someone somewhere will want that, you know, a, a rugby fan or an Ohio State fan, you know, a couple different um, things there. But I thought that was a good buy. Uh, Blue Jackets jersey for my buddy for his uh, daughter or son. I love getting this brand. A little 
Black Widow here, your uh, spider. I love getting spider stuff. And this is an XL. I think this is probably a women's. Um, but I uh, definitely love picking up spider. So, and that was a, a good buy. And this is the national championship from Ohio State uh, 2002 when they had Maurice Claret, Jim Trestle, Craig Grenzel. And all them when they beat Miami in overtime. And uh, so, you know, it's a, what is it, XO here. And uh, so, you know, this puppy's 17 years old and it, it's in great shape for what it is. So I figured, why not, you know, I'll try and sell it if I can. Great, if not, you know, I'm a Buckeyes fan and we won. So uh, definitely take that. And this one. I try to stay away from this brand because it, oops, stay back there. It hasn't really done a lot for me um, recently, but I thought, why not? I'll go for it. This is a uh, ex officio, um, kind of just like a, I don't know, a, a, some type of, you know, like insulated shirt or, or something like that, a pullover, um, you know, but I thought, well, you know, it's still winter and it's got this nice pocket up here. I thought, you know, at the very least, if it doesn't sell, you know, it, it's my size so I can use it. Um, now, I normally don't do that. I normally don't buy stuff and be like, oh, well, if it doesn't sell, I'll keep it. I mean, most of the time, majority of the stuff I, I buy, I sell. There are a couple things, like that one shirt I did keep for uh, the, the Nike Dry Fit. I do keep for myself, but a vast majority of the stuff I sell. And so, but... Uh, that's a mistake here. I'll show it. Might as well show my humility. Um, I bought this. You know, it was great. You know, Braxton Miller, Ohio State, everything. I don't know why I wasn't thinking. Um, but when I bought it, it it's ripped all the way up the side. And, I mean, I, it's, it's my fault. I, I can deal with it. Maybe I can see if I can get it sewn. But, you know, I was mad. You know, I'm, I'm mad that someone would donate something like this. And then I'm mad that Goodwill will put something like this out. But, I mean, hey, I'm ultimately the one that bought it, so I can't complain too much. I mean, lesson learned. I mean, we've all bought things that we didn't check out completely or whatever and had problems. So, you know, it is what it is. All right. These are some Canada Silver Jeans. I tend to have really good luck with the silver jeans, and these are a little, little older. These are uh, 2830s. So these, I was surprised. These sell for um, pretty good money. These are Reach um, replacement access flosses. Um, I can't remember. I think, I think these were around 20 bucks sold. I, I think it's it. I picked that up like a week ago, so I can't remember exactly. And I'd never seen this, but this is um, this Hillflint sweater. Um, and it's Bumblebee. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I looked, I, you know, I, when I looked it up, um, apparently they did a lot of collegiate stuff. And I have seen this Bumblebee on there, and I think it's sold for around $29 to $34, if I remember correctly. So for the $4 I paid for it, I thought it was great. And, you know, it's a really nice looking sweater, actually. I mean, um, it's vintage, so... I thought, why not? Uh, what is this? Oh, yes. I didn't tell my wife about these because she would want me to keep them. These are some uh, Vineyard Vines um, 3630 <coughs> new pants uh, with tags. And um, does not have the Target logo, so that's good. Um, remember that uh, some Targets now are selling Vineyard Vines, so I don't know... I would think that those ones probably don't sell as well as just like these and stuff. So, all right, what is this one here? Oh, yes, okay. I remember this now. All right, here. We got a New York Rangers. This is a Pro Player Stadium Series 2XO. Made in Macau. Um, hockey jersey. So, and I looked up, and those seemed to, to go for a good price. I can't remember exactly what it was, but 
So that's, um, let's see here, let me look anywhere else. Anything else? Anything else? Oh, yes, okay. Here's a couple more things. Sorry, this video is going longer than I expected. Um, here is uh, Logo Athletics, you know, so that means it instantly means it's vintage. Um, number 80 for Bruce. I can't remember the character or the person, but um, definitely picked that up. Thought that was a good one. And this one, I, I, I wasn't quite sure. Um, I looked up some of the comps and it looked good, but then again, I wasn't quite sure. This is, um, I don't know if you can see that, a Kenyan uh, made in the USA um, Polar Tech, uh, like an uh, insulated shirt. Um, almost kind of like what um, I was given when was in the service and stuff for some of our cold weather gear. You know, you would have things like this that you'd put underneath as your base layer, and then you'd put on your BDUs and, and stuff like that. So um, I thought, you know, hey, this will be good. So I went ahead and bought that. And this is uh, early, late last week. Um, this is a Plato Fuzzy Pumper Barber and Beauty Shop from Kenner. This is from 1978. Um, the box is beautiful. You now it is opened. Um, you know, it does have all the items in it. I do need to check the pumper and make sure it works. But other than that, I thought that was awesome. And for $250, I thought that was a good deal. Someone will, will want that for their nostalgia. So, well... That's uh, all I have. This video is already 18 minutes long. Holy smokes. Um, so, uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up buttons or thumbs down. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will talk to you folks later.